Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you go on. This is a playthrough of Half-Life 2 using my brand new pre-ordered Steam controller. I'm really, really bad at it. I was never uh, a very big console gamer, first-person shooter. I played Goldeneye, and I never finished Halo 1, and that's about it. So, in an attempt to keep this interesting, I turned it all the way down to easy, uh, which I would not be caught dead doing on my mouse and keyboard, uh, but I don't want to, uh, you know, be bumping into the wall every time there's a firefight happening. Or, I guess what I should say more specifically is I will be doing that, it's just a matter of is that a, a reload or not. Playing through this for the second time this afternoon, I had audio troubles. This is a nice way to get depressed, listening to these people talk. Let's jump. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said Welcome. he'd be on the next train. Welcome to City I'm not 17. sure when that was. You Did their there be nice, though, letting me wait for him? To one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish... My administration here, in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefit. Anything? Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Passing through on your way to parts unknown. They never leave. Welcome. You never see them go. To they're always 17. full. No one ever gets it's on, but they're always here. they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. I see they took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Dr. Welcome. Brain again? Welcome I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. You I haven't seen that too loud. This is his base of operations. One of our finest remaining urban centers. So yeah, it's just uh, exposition for the moment. I don't know if it's actually the right term for it. Here, in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors, I've been allowed to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay... The block in there. Welcome to City 17. It's safer Oh yeah, forgot about this a little. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. And hospitable. I'm gonna need me some privacy for this. 
about that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Jump, jump. Land on a box. Break my fall. Let's see if we can figure... Oh yeah, it says beer. I was wondering what the uh, drink of choice was in this back alley. Okay, and with that, I'm going to take a quick break to make sure the audio is where I want it. Uh, thanks for watching this far. I swear I will get into the actual combat in the next 30 minutes. Alright, picking it up right where I left off. This is Half-Life 2 playthrough on easy with my brand new Steam controller. It is not yet atrocious, although uh, I was never very efficient at this. I got pretty good with the mouse and keyboard. But, nothing like being a renaissance man. Let's see, should I try and do the one where I mess with him? I'm not picking up the can. No. Where's my shift? Run button. Allow me to address the exile. Not picking up the can. Question you might have left on force. First, let's consider the fact that for the first time, dude. As a species, come on. This simple fact has far reaching implications. Suspect something or other, he said, trying to see if he picks up anything else. I think he picks up guys. Okay. <laughs> first time, I, well, not the very first time, but a little while ago when my sound was messed up. I got a submissive achievement for doing what he said. That was supposed to teach you how to uh, um, manipulate the environment by using the use button. But I skipped all that because I already know I don't like being bossed around. Jump. Up. Look around. Down. I'm gonna fall on the box. Ah, it didn't even break. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Yeah. Really well populated area here. It really does look like it's been kicked to crap. Oh wait, wait, wait. about these. There we go. A 
Is there anything up here? I don't think there would be. I don't really have use for items right now. What's in there? Alright, fine. I'm going. Coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Man. I can't take it anymore. It's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? We'll think of something. Let's consider the fact that for the first time ever, when is it all going to end? Please. It's all right. Chase me. On top of those. Hey, you. Stairs were blocked. Right the roof. There's no time to lose. This is cool. All right, so clearly can't go down. He's past quick. a guy. Move. Keep moving. Head for the roof. Going. Switch. Move, please. And then we're going over here. Without the HUD, I don't know how much damage I've taken, but in a second, there'll be a plot changer. Over here! Ha, no, you don't! <coughs> Dr. Freeman, I presume. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Just noticed her necklace. She's got a cube. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Closed behind me. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. That hop. 
was it? Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Such an easy thing to do in 2004. Here, let me buy you a drink. Doctor Brew's Private Reserve. Breen's Private Reserve. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little. Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? What okay. There you are. Man, Gordon. I was wondering what that thing was. Alive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. <laughs> Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Hop up. No, Gross. not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V Hazardous Environment Suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from Combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Let's go. I already did it. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LG orbifold. Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. 
That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. So, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? So, this will teach it's us... right there, Gordon. ...how to control, if I can actually do it, do, and then move around these things. You just get it close and it corrects it for you. Oh yeah. Relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your friend, the freaking headhopper! Are you ready? Go oh. down! I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put. You'll get your own. Something is throwing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, hey, he's back. I'm getting him out of there. Can you just squeeze into the field? It will peel you apart! Just lost, Gordon. What's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. We'll... There he is! Oh, we're losing it again. The man I saw. I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Okay. So these guys will follow you around. And they do this if you look at them. Meaning they're mostly just an annoyance instead of an actual combat thing. But you have to use ammo on them. Uh, so it's a trade off. You know, which do you value more? Being free from those guys or having more ammo than you'd like? 